I have recently been going through some old magazine CDs that I've got a, quite a collection of, and one of them was from this digital camera magazine, and this particular disc is from spring 2015, and this particular video was about getting creative with gradient maps. And what they did was they supplied you with a file that you could download. Now, th this was obviously designed for Photoshop, but I have downloaded it and we can use it in Affinity Photo, maybe not quite the same way they did in this video, but it can be used. So I will add a link to that file that can be downloaded um, in the description for this video. Hopefully I'm not sort of breaking any copyright rules in, in any way because one I am crediting the, the magazine and also they were giving away this link free anyway. Um, so hopefully I'm not breaking any rules in that way. So what I'm going to do is that I've just picked this picture fairly much at random. It's just me sitting on a bench. And this is the one I'm going to apply the filters to. Um, so if I come to my files here, the file that you download would be this one here, Photographic Toning Table. And it's a zip file. And then you would unzip that file and it will open up or unzip this particular file and then you just double click inside here and then you got this PSD file so I'm just going to right click this and come down to open in Affinity Photo so this opens up this file here and I will just zoom in and at the top here you've got some instructions of what the you're supposed to do with this file if you're using Photoshop but I'm going to ignore that but as you can see you have all these different types of gradients and they're all named and they're all numbered and in the layers panel you have the same right, numbered um, layers and if I just if I just open number 18 at random, this would be copper one. So if I find number 18, which is that one there. So what I will do with that, I will just click on the gradient map for this particular level, right click, copy, and come back to my image, and then just edit and paste and it will put that gradient map effect onto my image. So let's just pick another one at random. Um, let's go for the gold solarium, which is number 28. So I've just got to find 28 here. Open up that group and right click, copy, come back to the image and then edit and paste. Now if I turn off the one underneath that would be the full effect of the gold solarium and as you can see if I add more than one effect you will get a slightly different outcome but also whichever gradient you want to use you can reduce its opacity from 100% down to a lower figure just so you have a slight effect on your image or you could just change the blending mode and get a different effect that way so there's all sorts of unusual effects you can get using these various gradient maps and the image on the left will give you an idea of what that particular gradient map at that number will do for your image. So basically that is it really. You can download this PSD file, open it up in 
Affinity Photo and then just copy the required gradient map layer onto your image. Thank you for watching and goodbye.